Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to draw threads in Onshape. Uh, these are custom threads so that you can 3D print them. If you're looking to draw the standard threads, your ISO, your ANSI threads, there's a custom feature uh, that you can install. And I have a video on how to do that and work through the process of drawing those standard threads. But today I'm going to go over how to draw threads, uh, custom threads so that you can 3D print. All right, let's begin. So I already have the nut and bolt drawn that I will be using for the threads here, the custom threads. And the first thing we're going to need to do is put on a helix. The helix will be the path that our sweep will follow for our actual threads. Now the cylinder I have here and the inner cylinder of the nut are the same. So I'm going to make sure that this helix that I place on here match up. So you'll see when I place this on the surface here, the first thing up here is turns turns it says four so from one two three four which would be fine except i need to match up and the inner of cylinder of the nut and this outer face of the bolt are different lengths so i need to change this to pitch and if i set these to the same pitch which i'm going to set to 0.125 and eighth uh, i'll be able to match them up and they'll be able to have the same uh, face for the threads so i have the helix on the face here and the next step now is to make a sketch for the shape that we're going to have on uh, the actual threaded part. So I'm going to go to sketch. I'm going to do it on this plane, the uh, front plane, because I want to be intersecting it in the same point that the th helix ends. So the helix ends, you'll notice right there on that face. So I'm going to draw this here. I'm actually going to turn off the bolt just so I see the helix here. And you'll see why in a second. And I'm going to draw a triangular shape. And I'll mess around with the size of it right now. So this inner part angle, I'm going to say is 60 degrees. I want the height from here to here to be 0.1. And then the last bit is I want at the midpoint here. There it is. Um, I want these two to be in line with each other. All right. So what did all that do? Why is this important? Because you'll notice this dimension of just this face is pretty close to uh, 0.125. I don't want it to be exactly 0.125 because if I did make it an eighth the same as my pitch, I'll uh, get an error. So I now need to put this onto my helix. So I did a coincident from that midpoint to there. Perfect. Check mark. And now I'm going to sweep this up my helix. And that's all this really is here. I'm going to do a sweep. I'm going to do that as my face. My sweep path is just going to be this curve. And it's an uh, add to, let's turn our bolt back on, merge scope, bolt. All right. And there it is. So you'll notice a couple things here. First off, kind of ends funnily. And one way to fix that is to just kind of do a remove on the side. So I actually made the length of this cylinder a little longer than what I actually wanted, which it on purpose because I'm just going to draw a rectangle here and I'm going to have the distance um, up I made that really close but I'm going to make this distance from here to here uh, an eighth I made that an extra eighth long and you'll see it chops it off right there so now when I do an extrude remove on that let's change this to symmetric uh, from there to there I've now Turn our curve off. It now looks much cleaner on the bottom. It doesn't have that funny thing. And I'll just leave the top like that. That doesn't necessarily matter. All right, so there is the nut. We're gonna do the exact same thing for the bolt. Nope, I said that backwards. <laughs> There's our bolt, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing for the nut. All right, so one more time, helix. Let's change this to pitch, 0.125, enter, check mark. I'm going to do a sketch on the front plane. Turn that sketch on and I'm going to right click copy sketch. I'm going to be in here. I'm going to hit control V. There it is. That placement for it is fine because I'm just going to move it in a second. Uh, let's turn off the nut. So we just have this. Let's turn off our other sketch and we can do the same coincident that we just did from there to there. Good work team. Check mark on that sweep this face along there. This is a remove, a merge scope. Let's turn the nut back on now and merge scope with the nut. And the same thing that just happened previously with it being funnily, funny shaped at the end points here. I'm just going to do another uh, remove. 
on the two faces here. So I'm just going to do something like that, something like that. Dimension here to here. As I did previously, I made this nut uh, actually 0.5 taller than I wanted it to be so that I can actually do this. And symmetric. One inch is not enough for this. Let's make it a 0.15. Five. So it actually removes the whole thing and there you go. It does look funny here, but it is clean for the surface. So now I did it. We have threads on the nut and the bolt. And the last thing to do would be to add it to an assembly and show you how to do the actual screw mate, screw relation. All right, so let's insert our nut and bolt check mark. Let's move the nut away here and let's actually fix our bolt uh, to the, the planes here. Now we need to a cylindrical mate to make a screw relation. All right, so if I go to cylindrical mate, you'll notice something right off the bat. It's tough to get the center of this threaded thing here. So here's something new that I want to show you guys. It is called uh, adding a new mate connector. So I'm going to just clean this up or actually uh, snap my view to be looking straight down from the top and if I go to mate connector I'm going to be able to add a point where my uh, snap for the mates will be and I actually know if I go to this edge here where there isn't threads that's actually going to be the center of it right there look at that and it made that one there that is that mate connector now I want to make a second mate connector let's go bottom here let's look in just make connector two here. Now, how do I confirm that? There it is right there. This one has the no edge and I want to go to the middle of it. I believe that's going to be the middle of the whole thing. So it's a little tricky to tell, right? Cause I knew that this was off centered. So I chose that one, but I now have two make connectors that are in the center of my entire object. If I click check mark here, now I can just go right to cylindrical mate and choose make connector one, make connector two. Check mark and look at what we got now. You'll notice it's able, it's free to spin and slide up and down, but we don't have this as a thread yet. So if I right now go to screw relation, what you need for a screw relation is a cylindrical mate. So I just choose a cylindrical mate I made, check mark, and now it'll stay in line with that and spin. Couple things though here, right? Screw relation, distance per revolution, this should be our pitch. So I'm gonna make this that 0.125 that we used before. And the last thing here is actually putting the limit. So now I can spin around, spin around, make threads, right? But if I, you'll notice I'm able to screw right through that. And that's a problem. So what uh, do I need to do there to fix that? It's actually in our cylindrical mate. We're actually gonna set a limit. So if I just click this right here, you'll see this point here would be our limit of the screw. And I just know off the top of my head, because I'm the one who drew this, it's 0.1875. All right, I did have this as two, the cylinder is two, and this was a symmetrical extrude of 0.5, so that means there's an eighth over. So if I hit solve, let me zoom out and you'll see it, and then do the animation, it stops at the top. It goes real fast there, but it, it does, believe me. And there you go, we have a screw uh, relation for our custom threaded uh, nut and bolt. I can turn off the view on that, turn off the view on that, turn off the view on that, and there you go. Uh, we did it. Good work, team. There you go. It's tapped out at the top. And uh, good luck, have fun. Like and subscribe.